Have you ever wondered what it takes to land a rover on the moon? It's a feat of engineering and scientific ambition, a testament to human curiosity and our longing to explore the cosmos, and that's exactly what the Chandrayaan-3 mission set out to do. This mission, launched by the Indian Space Research Organization, or ISRO, had a clear objective, to land a rover near the south pole of the moon. But this was no ordinary rover. The Chandrayaan-3 mission consisted of three distinct parts, the propulsion module, the Vikram lander, and the Pragyan rover. Each piece carefully designed and built with a specific role to play in this lunar exploration. The propulsion module, a box-like structure with a large solar panel and a cylinder on top, was tasked with getting the lander and the rover to the moon. Weighing in at over 2,145 kilograms, it was a powerhouse, capable of generating 738 watts of power. Then, there was the Vikram lander. Box-shaped, with landing legs and thrusters, this lander was designed to safely transport the Pragyan rover to the lunar surface. Not only was it responsible for the rover's safe passage, but it also had its own scientific measurements to conduct. And finally, the Pragyan rover itself, a rectangular marvel of technology, was the eyes and hands of the mission on the moon. With a power generation capacity of 50 watts, it was equipped with various sensors and instruments for scientific measurements. The journey to the moon began on July 14, 2023, with the Chandrayaan-3 mission expected to land near the moon's south pole on August 23, 2023. With the launch of Chandrayaan-3, India aimed to become the fourth nation to achieve a soft lunar landing. But how did this journey begin? As we delve into the making of Chandrayaan-3 in the next segment, you'll discover the incredible work and challenges behind this ambitious lunar mission. Stay tuned. The journey to the moon is not a simple one. It requires years of planning, development, and testing. Building Chandrayaan-3 was indeed a testament to this truth. The mission's inception dates back to the early days of planning and strategizing, when the objective of landing a lander and rover near the south pole of the moon was set. This was no ordinary feat, as it required the demonstration of landing and roving capabilities, as well as conducting scientific measurements. The mission was divided into two main components, the propulsion module and the Vikram lander which carries the Pragyan rover. Each of these had their own unique design and specifications. The propulsion module, a box-like structure with a large solar panel and a cylinder on top, weighed in at over 2,145 kilograms and could generate 738 watts of power. The Vikram lander, on the other hand, was box-shaped and equipped with landing legs and thrusters. It weighed slightly less than the propulsion module at around 1,749 kilograms, but matched it in power generation capacity. The lander's precious cargo, the Pragyan rover, was built with a rectangular chassis and had a power generation capacity of 50 watts. As with any space mission, the journey of Chandrayaan-3 was not without its share of challenges. Technical difficulties, testing setbacks, and the sheer complexity of the mission presented formidable obstacles. But with a team of dedicated scientists and engineers, every hurdle was overcome. Rigorous testing ensured the lander and rover were fit for their lunar mission, and meticulous planning ensured that every aspect of the mission was ready for execution. Finally, on July 14, 2023, Chandrayaan-3 was launched, marking the beginning of its journey to the moon. But this was not the end of the challenges. The spacecraft would have to undergo maneuvers to reach the moon, and the lander was expected to touch down in the south polar region of the moon on August 23, 2023. The successful launch of Chandrayaan-3 was the result of years of hard work and dedication, but the real challenge was yet to come. Landing on the moon is like hitting a tiny target from a great distance. It requires precision and perfect timing. Now imagine a journey of over 380,000 kilometers with a destination as elusive as the lunar south pole. That's the voyage Chandrayaan-3 undertook. But how did it land on the moon you ask? Let's dive into that. Chandrayaan-3's journey to the moon wasn't a straight shot. It required a series of complex maneuvers to position the spacecraft into the right trajectory. From its launch on July 14, 2023, the spacecraft gradually increased its orbit around Earth, using the propulsion module. This is a process known as orbit raising, and it's a bit like climbing a spiral staircase but in space. After a series of these orbit raising maneuvers, Chandrayaan-3 was on the right path to the moon. But getting there was only half the battle. The real challenge was landing. To prepare for its lunar landing, Chandrayaan-3 had to reduce its speed drastically. 
Think of it as trying to park a car moving at breakneck speed into a tight spot. It's a tricky business requiring expert timing and precision. The spacecraft used its onboard engines to slow down, a process known as lunar braking. Then, on August 23, 2023, a month after its launch, Chandrayaan-3 began its descent onto the moon's surface. The Vikram lander carrying the Pragyan rover detached from the propulsion module and made its way towards the lunar South Pole region. It was a tense moment. A single miscalculation could mean the difference between success and failure. But Chandrayaan-3 was up to the task. The lander used its landing legs and thrusters to gently touch down on the moon's surface, marking a triumphant moment in space exploration. The successful landing of Chandrayaan-3 was a historic moment, but what was its mission on the moon? The moon is a treasure trove of scientific knowledge waiting to be discovered. And Chandrayaan-3, with its diligent rover Pragyan, has been doing just that. Once the Vikram lander made its soft touch down near the south pole of the moon, it was time for Pragyan to roll out and get to work. This compact but capable rover generating 50 watts of power began its mission of exploration and discovery. Pragyan, equipped with a myriad of sensors and instruments, started conducting scientific measurements. Its primary objective was to study the lunar surface, analyzing the composition and distribution of elements such as magnesium, aluminum, and silicon. But it didn't stop there. Pragyan also had a keen interest in the moon's topography, investigating the morphology and mineralogy of the lunar terrain. The rover made some significant findings. It discovered evidence of certain minerals that are believed to have formed in the presence of water. This discovery supports the theory that there was once water on the moon, a revelation that could have profound implications for our understanding of the moon's history and its potential for future habitation. But Pragyan's mission wasn't just about the moon's past, it also looked to the future. The rover conducted experiments to measure the amount of solar radiation on the moon's surface, data that could be crucial for planning future manned missions to the moon. And what about the question on everyone's lips? Did Chandrayaan-3 find oxygen on the moon? Well, while the mission didn't directly discover oxygen, the presence of certain oxides found by Pragyan suggests that oxygen is indeed part of the lunar soil. This discovery is another piece of the puzzle in our ongoing quest to understand the moon's environment and its potential for supporting life. The Pragyan rover has been busy exploring the moon's surface but where is Chandrayaan-3 now? Stay tuned as we delve into the current status and future plans of this groundbreaking mission. Scene script. Space missions like Chandrayaan-3 are not just about reaching a destination, they are about exploring the unknown and paving the way for future missions. As we speak, Chandrayaan-3 is carrying out its mission of lunar exploration on the moon's south pole. This region remains largely uncharted, making this expedition a thrilling adventure into the unknown. The mission's lander and rover, Vikram and Pragyan, are currently at work, gathering valuable data and conducting scientific measurements. Their main task? To uncover the mysteries hidden within the moon's unexplored south polar region. The propulsion module, a critical component of the mission, remains in lunar orbit. This box-like structure with its solar panel and cylinder on top, serves as the primary communication link between the rover, the lander, and mission control back on Earth. It's a job requiring precision and reliability. And so far, the propulsion module is performing it flawlessly. Looking ahead, the mission has several intriguing plans. Beyond the immediate goal of demonstrating landing and roving capabilities, Chandrayaan-3 is expected to make significant contributions to our understanding of the Moon. Its various sensors and instruments will gather data that may shed light on the lunar surface's composition, topography, and other aspects that remain a mystery. Moreover, these findings can play a crucial role in future lunar missions, including potential manned missions. The data Chandrayaan-3 collects can help space agencies around the globe plan and prepare for future explorations, and maybe just maybe permanent settlements. Further, Chandrayaan-3's journey is not just about the moon. It's about inspiring future generations of scientists and explorers, showing them that the boundaries of our knowledge are there to be pushed, that the mysteries of the universe are there to be solved. The journey of Chandrayaan-3 is a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. Who knows what secrets it will uncover next?